How's it going, my little bats? So today we're doing something a little different than normal. Uh, we are going to go ahead and we're going to jump into some lore and some theories of all different, um, all different things. I was originally going to do this all on video games, but I have been recently watching Steven Universe and I've been getting back into that. So I was thinking that we could go ahead and jump right into a Steven Universe theory. And if you're wondering what that theory is, it is actually the most popular theory that I have found. And that theory is, is freaking Rose, I almost said Pearl, <laughs> is Rose Quartz, Steven Mom, is she Pink Diamond? Now, there's a lot of evidence both backing this and, <clears throat> and against it. So if you guys would like, you can guys, after the video, can comment down below your ideas. And if you want, maybe I'll do a theory on your idea. Who knows? If you guys want to do see any other theories, you can go ahead and let me know down below as well. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. So, let's start this. Alrighty, so first thing I want to mention on this little uh, list of things we're going to talk about is we're first and foremost going to talk about the diamonds that are there right now. Now, if you're not a huge fan into Steven Universe or maybe you haven't caught up yet, I will state this right now. If you haven't completely caught up to... Biz, the episode Bismuth, which is in, I believe, Season 3, then just w not don't watch this video. Come back when you're done. <laughs> is that everyone? Looking at you. Did you watch it? Okay. Good. Alright, so let's get right into this, guys. So, <clears throat> so first we're going to talk about the fact that there are the four diamonds. Now, of course, if you're caught up to the Bismuth episode, then you know already about the how there is four diamonds. You know that they're, they've shown in the episode it could have been great they show that there was four diamonds on the ground signifying the four hierarchies or i'm just gonna say monarchies because that's kind of what this whole for the four monarchs of the gem community which is white diamond yellow diamond blue diamond and the mysterious pink diamond that we've only even seen a glimpse of now the reason why i'm also getting into this rose is the rose quartz is pink diamond theory is because not only is this just a very interesting theory, which, like I said before, has a lot of things backing it and a lot of things also against it, it's just that nobody from the cast itself has confirmed or denied any of these. So it's quite interesting. So we're gonna, so like I said, we're, we talked about the four diamonds. Now, again, we haven't really seen anything about this mysterious pink diamond. However, when... Jasper and Paradox go to capture Lapis in their spaceship. You get a you get to a glimpse at what is this the signal or symbol I should say is on the bottom of their ship, which is three diamonds: yellow, blue, and white. Just those three diamonds. That's it. Now, back into the episode also where Pearl is teaching Connie how to sword fight at the ruins. There's four diamonds outside of it. There's four uh, four diamonds inside of it as well, along with what used to be four statues, now is three. Now you can clearly see what looks like yellow diamond out of the statues. One of the statues clearly looks like yellow diamond because we all know what she looks like now. And another one is supposed to signify blue diamond. However, the only time we've seen blue diamond is she's had that cloak over her so it's really hard to tell what she would look like without it, or say in battle form, or whatever. So, but we're just going to say that that's Blue Diamond. And now there's a third one, which is the only one that we have yet to see, which would be the mysterious White Diamond. The only time we have gotten a glimpse of what she might look like is back into the episode, that it could have been great, when Paradox is showing them all the diamonds, they actually end up walking by a mural of White Diamond. That's pretty much it. That's all we really get to see of White Diamond. They haven't introduced her into the show yet, which is upsetting. But what are you going to do? Now, the reason I really am sitting behind this Rose is Pink Diamond theory is I'm just going to shoot back to, I believe it was the first episode of Steven Universe, where the gems have to find Rose's cannon. Now, isn't it a little strange that none of these other gems have any sort of special, I don't want to say special ability, but 
they don't really have any sort of special weapons besides what they can do, you know, Pearl with her spear, Amethyst, her whip, etc. Rose has her shield and sword, and that is her weapon. But she also seems to have all these other artifacts that are extremely strong. And that's something that you would kind of link back into the diamonds, wouldn't you? You would think that these diamonds, you know, they're all powerful. That's why everybody serves them. And Rose, even though being a quartz, yes, she is. Quartz are built for battle. They're built to be warriors. But how is it she has all this amazing stuff, but Jasper doesn't have any of this. Amethyst doesn't have any of this. They're both being quartz. So that's, not, that's, that's, that's just one thing I wanted to talk about. Also, there is a mural. I'm not sure what episodes this mural is from. But in the mural, you can clearly see Rose. I mean, you can't miss that star belly button thing. And she's fighting what looks like a diamond. Now, also, if you look around the diamond that she's fighting, there's little diamonds. You know, seems straightforward. But there's also Rose holding a diamond. Now, some people have said this is supposed to signify her sacrifice or whatever. But mind you, these buildings and ruins that they're going into when they're finding these murals were built, were clearly built before the rebellion, before that they decided that the the diamonds decided they needed to cut out pink diamond completely. Now, some of you are probably like, well, how are they cutting out pink diamond? Well, they're cutting out pink diamond because like we showed in the ruins, there's only three statues when there clearly was four. So one of the statues was destroyed, presumably being pink diamond. Now, if you, and also if we go back to the symbol on Jasper and Peridot's ship when they go to get Lapis, there's only three diamonds. There's no longer pink diamond. Anything you see has nothing to do with pink diamond. So everything that has been built was pre, we're going to say pre-rebellion. It's pretty much what it was, was pre-rebellion. The best thing that this mural could signify, and I honestly think it signifies, is maybe it was the beginning of of the rebellion. Maybe it was just the very beginning or it was built by crystal gems themselves showing Rose standing up to the other diamonds and fighting for them. And of course, you know, all of the original crystal gems would know that she's a diamond, so it would make sense why they would put a diamond there. Another thing that I've seen a couple of theories go over is the speculation of in the episode, it could have been great, which honestly, this episode has so much going on for it when we're talking about the diamonds. Um, but in that episode, you don't see Pearl for a while. While Paradox going around, you know, shows Steven ye the mural of Yellow Diamond, and etc. And she's talking to Steven about all that. You don't see Pearl come in until Paradox activates the stairs. It hasn't been approved or... It hasn't been, you know, made untrue, but a lot of people are saying that Pearl was actually looking at the mural of Pink Diamond, just like she does whenever she sees anything else of Rose's. When she found, Ro when Stephen found Rose's sword, she hung on to that thing. When she saw the scabbard, same thing, you know, anything that has to do with Rose, Pearl grabs onto. Pearl needs to learn how to get a Gatorade, dude. Seriously. But anywho, so another thing I also want to point out is that everybody's uniform that is, you know, everybody that is a homeworld gem has, of course, a uniform, and they all have some sort of si signification of what their head diamond is. With Paradox, it's the yellow, uh, yellow, with Paradox, it is the yellow diamond on her uniform. With Jasper, it's the same thing with that yellow diamond on her uniform. Now, if you look at Lapis, she has what looks like to be a blue diamond on her, uh, half of it on her shirt, the bottom half on her skirt. And now we're gonna go into, uh, the episode where Pearl is fighting Parada and they're making drill, uh, robots to fight each other with. Pearl gets into a uniform that looks like it could be a homeworld uniform, and on that uniform is a pink diamond, if you didn't guess that. Or if you can't see that. <laughs> There's a pink diamond on Pearl's uniform. Which shows that in some way, shape, or form, she was lower or was serving Pink Diamond. There is one thing I do want to mention, though, is that I don't completely believe that Pearl was Pink Diamond's Pearl. I believe she was White Diamond's due to the colors. Just because she's white, Yellow Diamond's 
yellow diamonds, pearl is yellow, blue diamonds is blue. So it only makes sense for pearl to be, our pearl, to be white diamonds pearl. So, with this in mind that per our pearl might actually be white diamonds pearl, I honestly want to say that I think that when Rose began the rebellion against Homeworld to save Earth, I honestly believe that maybe Pearl was like, you know what, I want to be like her. I don't want to be a servant. I want to be whatever I can be. Because if you notice too, whenever Paradox brought up that Pearl was, you know, a Pearl and that Pearls are just servants, she got aggravated. She got mad. So it only makes sense that if that was the case, that if she did not like being a servant so much, and she saw Rose doing this rebellion, trying to make gems be whatever they want to be, that she would join Rose, that she would look up to Rose, that she would end up being Rose's pearl. A lot of other people also say that if you look at Rose's gem, well, it's not a diamond. Well, no fucking shit, it's not a diamond. She's supposed to be a quartz. What I honestly believe, though, this is why I'm bringing in the bismuth aspect of it, is that I believe that whenever she was doing whatever she was doing, that maybe she could have had bismuth help her change her gem. Now bismuth clearly, when you watch the episode, clearly knows a lot about destroying gems and how gems are made, etc. So maybe bismuth honestly helped her change her gem. Because with her being a quartz, it would make sense why she is so good at fighting, why she has lion, the sword, the shield, etc. But what doesn't make sense is that she is very good at strategy. Which is something the other quartz aren't. Amethyst, she has no fucking strategy ever. You go ahead and you look at Jasper. The last strategy she had, if you watched up to Bismuth, is she tried getting monsters to fight for her. Other than that, no other quartz that we've seen has an actual strategy. So that's why I honestly think that maybe Bismuth helped, helped Rose change her gem so that way she could actually not be a diamond. She swore off being a diamond because she didn't like what that what came with it. She didn't like what being a diamond meant. It meant ruling over others, do, making colonies on other planets, destroying other planets. Clearly Rose was too sweet for that. She didn't like any of that. So she swore off being a diamond forever and ended up becoming a quartz. So she could be like everybody else. So Because if you notice in the Crystal Gems, there's no leader. There's no, I'm better than you. It's everybody is a team. Which would make sense if she had Bismuth change her gem into a quartz. Well, that would just make sense as to why it would make sense. Okay? You guys know what I'm trying to get at. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> But that's really all I have for this theory, so if you guys want, you can go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. I know there's a few other things that also back this up, and like I said, a few other things that are against this. But this is honestly what I'm sick- what I really, really, really think is true. So let me know what you guys think about this. And I love you little bats. Stay batshit crazy! Messy, you're gonna mess.